guys. This time what I want to show you is more of a tip on how to operate other than um, how to do something. So let's take a look at my My Places real quick. What I've got is several subfolders within my My Places over here because these are different projects I'm working on. I've got a United States, China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, so on. Now, if I were to open all of these subfolders up, notice how my My Places gets really uh, unorganized really quick. I have to scroll up and down to find what I'm looking for. So a couple of tips. One tip is to shrink down the search pane right here by clicking on the gray bar where it says search and layers to increase a larger workspace in your My Places. Also, here's my analogy. It's called hardwood floors. Now, if you have hardwood floors in your home, you know you have to sweep and vacuum all of the time to make them look clean, especially if you have kids or pets. Where if you have carpet, don't get me wrong, it's just as dirty, but it's more forgiving to the chaos. Your My Places is hardwood floors. Constantly clean as you go. What I mean by that, if I want to work in my China folder, for example, what I need to do is shrink down all my other folders. So shrink down Russia, Iran, North Korea, all these, and only have my China folder expanded. Also, if I have layers on, like my Iran and North Korea layers, once you come over here, you'll see some North Korea stuff. If I don't need that on right now, let's turn it off. I can always turn it on later. And when I want to work in my China folder, I only have that folder expanded and only have those layers on. As you work more and more in Google Earth, your My Places will fill up very, very fast. So stay organized, which is rule number one, and clean those hardwood floors as you go. Thanks for watching. Map your world.